My name is Daddy. My name is Candace. Here. My name is Kenza Cadbury. My name is Anna Ron. My name is Carla. My name is Daniel Martin. I was diagnosed with cancer. You must have been Lloyd Lukey. Primarily, Carlson works with students who are either homebound or hospital bound or for one reason or another are not able to attend a traditional school setting. He was in the original towns and I was diagnosed with cancer from my son. Without Carlson, I think I would have been still in the fifth grade. My name is Kimberly Mitchell and my son is a mere Mitchell Towns. If I'm totally honest, he probably just would have failed this year and not done school because I can't take on one more thing. There's no way that I could have become the educator. Miss Z is really good at just finding ways to deal with his reality. Their life is not routine anymore. Their life has turned into doctor's appointments and being sick all of the time. And I'm the person that comes in and tries to give them a routine. My name is Daddy, and I've been called a student because I cannot attend regular school because of my uh, medical conditions. I have to use this uh, BiPAP machine. It's called to help me breathe. Um, they don't let me attend school with this machine on. So that's why I decided to hold school. I was born also with a fragile bone, which is called osteogenesis imperfecta. I, if I were to have Carlson, I think I would have been very behind in my high school classes. Since uh, they, I have my own schedule, I'm getting much get better grades than I was while attending school and I feel like I'm learning a lot more because I have one-on-one -on -one attention with the teacher. My plan is to be able to graduate with all my friends and graduate on stage. My name is Candice Rodriguez. I'm 14 and uh, I have AML which means acute myeloid leukemia. When I found out that I couldn't go to school I was really concerned. When you get to these points in your life where you where you almost don't have a future. It just makes you more compelled to do what um, you want to do. My name is Daniel Martin. I'm 13 years old and I've been at Wikipedia. I think I've been here for at least um, pretty much a month now. Uh, Carl's, I guess Carl's in our hospital helps me in my school so I don't fall behind. My name is Carlo and this is the letter that I wrote two years ago to President Obama. Dear President Obama, on inauguration day, I was at the hospital here in LA because I had a fever that was caused by chemotherapy. I'm sure you've heard of it. I was trying to get up so I could watch the inauguration on TV, and I managed to stay awake long enough to see you take the oath of office. When I'm done with all my treatment, I want to go see you in the White House on my birthday. Love, Carlo. School is a very, very important place for them to be, even if it's for the five hours. They would like it to be longer, but the five hours they look forward to. My name is Kenza Cadbury and I was enrolled in Carlson after I was injured and consequently became paralyzed over a little over a year and a half ago after getting hit by a car. And a month or so afterwards, I was taken to Children's Hospital where I began rehab. My immediate thought was that I came this far and I'm not going to graduate now. <laughs> That's not fair. Without Carlson, I would probably be doing some sort of in-home schooling right now. Still uh, waiting to graduate from high school. My name is Anna Rom and I started going to Carlson School because I was sick. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, bone cancer. I had to stay in the hospital for about a year doing chemo there. It was like aggressive chemotherapy so I had to be there most of the time and I needed Carlson to help me by, you know, being at the hospital with me so I wouldn't miss school. Carlson definitely brought brought normalcy to my ex my whole hospital experience and everything that I went through. You never know where life is going to take you, and throughout my entire life, um, 
it all seemed to lead me to my first day at Carlson. Um, so my first day at Carlson last school year um, was the day that I met Anna. And the day I went in to meet her was the day that she found out that she was going to have to have her leg amputated. So for me, um, the emotions that went behind that were, were pretty incredible. So I have to come in there as a teacher and teach her, but then all of a sudden I'm dealing with someone who's just received, I think everything was difficult with her, but then this news that she would be losing her leg. Anna's teacher, Lisa, was not only a teacher, but she was also a confidant, and not only to Anna, but to me as well. Um, it wasn't, okay, you know, an hour or two has passed, now, now I'm leaving. It was, you know, how are you guys doing? What's going on today? What's happened since I was last here? And um, she was very interested in all aspects of Anna's care and life and our life and she became a friend of ours um, throughout this process and she's going to be a friend for life. I come in, we, we teach lessons, I give homework assignments, um, I give them their education and I'm the person that comes in and I'm not going to hurt them. <laughs> I'm not going to stick them with needles, I'm not going to be um, drawing their blood, I'm not going to be giving them chemotherapy, I'm there to help them and be their educator. Looking back on the year, um, I can honestly say that Carlson is almost like a friend. And I know it's an institution, but through our year in the hospital and through phone calls and speaking with, um, with Anna's teacher and the various administrators at Carlson. Carlson gave me peace of mind during Anna's sickness. It's nice to know that there's a service, you know, when you're going through something that's difficult, that takes charge of something as important as your child's education and understands how much um, cancer and other you know, life-threatening diseases hit the family, and she never makes me feel, Mrs. Z never makes me feel like she won't, you know, step in and, and, and totally academically, um, you know, make sure that Amir is where he needs to be. I don't know, fight for Carlson to always stay around, because what would we do without him? <laughs> what would we do without him? I'd like to say to the other students that don't give up. I believe, personally me, that nothing's impossible. Absolutely nothing. One of the most rewarding things as an administrator that I've done, it's also very emotional, emotionally touching, uh, but it's to actually go into the home or into the hospital room and, and graduate a student who really wants to graduate. And, and the only way they're going to graduate is if the principal comes to them and graduates them. You walk away from that and you're right here forever.